Hi, so let us look at the Scratch platform and see what are the different components on it. So if you have already created an account and logged into scratch.mit.edu, you will see the home page and then when you click on create, it will open up a Scratch project. That is the project editor. The same thing when you launch the Scratch desktop. So this is the online version and now I'm swapping to the Scratch desktop. So this is the Scratch icon you will see after installing it and then when you launch it So whenever you work with a software which is purposed towards a specific use task you will see it really really provides capabilities needed needed to perform the tasks so for example you would have used a word document whether it is google doc microsoft word so the objective of a, a document editor is to allow you to create documents and the software will provide you capabilities to do that. Similarly, if you look, look at uh, of a paint software, it will allow you to draw, erase, and do things around that. Uh, now, when the Scratch software has been purposed so that children like you can create animation stories, interactive games, you will see that the software has all the components which you can easily draw a parallel with a story making. So for instance, if you think of when you're doing a drama, what are the components that you need? So A, you need background, right? You need like props. So if you're trying to demonstrate a school scene, so there's a playground, if there's your classroom or maybe there's a principal's room, a scene in the staff room. So you need these three to four different scenes. So the first thing, if you look at this uh, software, rightmost, this very thin rectangular column, you'll see written here stage. So this is the area which allows you to select the stage. So when you click on it, you can choose a backdrop. And there are these very backdrops provided in the Scratch library. And you can create your own. So you can draw them here using the paint editor. Or you can bring something from outside and upload it here. You can draw your own and upload it here. And that's a lot of fun. Now, the next thing you need is your... Um, oh, of course, you need a screenplay, a story to start with for your drama, for your play. And that's something which you're going to bring in. And uh, once you identify what are the different characters in it, now you need those characters in the software. That's what you need to map. Um, so the characters are called sprites. So this rectangular window in the bottom, these are your characters, yeah, sprite. And by default, as you load a new project, so how you load a new project by saying file new. So whenever you do a file new, it comes up with a default, uh, very popular scratch character called the scratch cat. Uh, if you don't need it, you just delete it. And you can bring your own by similarly choosing one, creating one. So let's choose character right away so there are number of them I'm going to pick up a bear so this is the sprite area now right on top of this do you see this area this is the display area so whatever you're doing um, whatever placement you're doing characters you're bringing in whatever backdrop you're choosing it's all going to show up here and once you start coding in uh, and you play this button, it will play your whatever coding you've done. Right? So we are going to get to that. 
Now this central big panel, this big panel, this is your coding area. Coming to the left, these are your available assets to create your digital story. So the first uh, is the block of codes. So imagine them just like say uh, your Lego blocks uh, and you put them to create something. So similarly you use these coding blocks. The only big difference is in the digit in the real world blocks they may get over but here they are many many more I mean not really there you, you can consider them infinite uh, not they not that they won't even reach a limit but for all practical purposes so this is your coding blocks in the center what you see is costumes and this is going to vary based on what you have chosen here so right now if you've chosen a pair you will see different costumes so when you think of costumes now coming back to like in your drama if your um, you know character you want to show one day come in in school uniform and another day in sports uniform or another day casuals so you're going to your character is going to change costumes so similarly you could uh, have this bear in I know we can clothe them uh, and we will get to a little bit difference between costumes and postures as treated in our English vocabulary versus in the scratch vocabulary and this is the sound section so of course your until you're doing a silent play your characters are going to be speaking in the play and that is where the sounds come in so this is, this is all right this is it your uh, entire scratch software and uh, you do it opening new and when you start working on it you keep saving it so make sure you save regularly in the online version it does save on its own but here you need to click on this and if you uh, sh shut down your scratch desktop you can reload the project from wherever you have saved and continue working on it. So, uh, happy creating.